should I show my poem to first? Uh, let's go with Sayori. She's adorable. I'm definitely most comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. She's my good friend, after all. Mm, da da da. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Wolfgore. Eh? I love it! I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constrictive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Eh, are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Wolfgore poem. And that makes it feel extra special. Aww. Aww. Like, I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Er, well, of course, I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Wolfcore. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people, that's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, <laughs> I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now, you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, this is about us. This is clearly about us. It makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleep from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad, I want breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> it's adorable. Clearly about us. Click outside poem area to continue. Okay. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that the, it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast, even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Who should I show my poem to next? Uh, let's go with Natsuki! Da-da-da! Question mark? Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me! It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? <laughs> I'll pass. Sigh. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. <laughs> I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't e even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? 
Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it when it's easy to read, but it's but it hits you hard, like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. That's kind of what I got from it, to be honest. Not, not a bad poem. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what I mean. That's what it mean meant. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. <laughs> Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decide to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Who should I show my poem to next? Let's go with Yuri. Hi, Yuri. Mm. Mm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, oh, s sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not, I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on, okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Er, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, uh, so it's that bad? No! Did I just raise my voice? Um, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. I might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognized in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the styles and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course that uh, uh, ah, of course that's not not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thoughts process- uh, uh, I can't read! I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't that supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by this sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm breathing air breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Kind of, kind of dark. Definitely kind of dark. Uh, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. It was a little hard to read, but that's okay. I have horrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to, to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Haha. <laughs> 
Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Wolfcore. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poems often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. <clears throat> that was poets, not poems. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Who should I show my poem to next? Well, I think the choice is clear, and it's Monica. Hi, Wolfcourt. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Wolfcore. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm, I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of things in common. Ah, uh, well. We may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm? Well, that may be the case, but maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has kind of a gentle feeling, feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to write about impressing them or anything. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I understand. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. It could have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes. A nosy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking. Ooh. That I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. Hmm. I like the writing. It's a thinker. It's a thinker. I'm going to have to think about that one. Read it a few times to understand it. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, it's, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. 
I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Something, sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. That's a really good tip. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So you just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for the day. Thanks for listening. I like it. I like it. Good on you, Monica. That's some good advice. Phew! I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What? What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I really didn't come out nice at all. <laughs> Boy, Yuri is a fucking handful. Or not Yuri, uh, Natsuki is a handful, man. Whew. Um, well, I don't- I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggest suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Wolfgore did, too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suge suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Something is just tickling my nose. I'm not sure if it's my mustache, but it is just driving me crazy. Is it my hair? <laughs> Get off my face! I'm trying to read! Which I haven't yet. And <laughs> Wolfgore liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Uh... You, you're you just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Wolfgore appreciated my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? How do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I wouldn't deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. <gasps> um... Is everything okay? Or is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Wolfgore started showing up. Natsuki? Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turn towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Wolfgore! She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all con convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Wolfcore. Well, actually, it's all about personal expression and how you interpret things, so both ways are correct. There's no correct way to write, girl. What? what There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning, meaning the most effectively. 
Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Wolfgore? Um, well, how do I, how, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Uh, help me, Sayori! <laughs> Natsuki? Natsuki glares at me, trying up, drying up any words I have in my mouth. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri? But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Dot dot dot. Sayori! Eh? Yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Wolfgore! Well, that's her problem. That This isn't about her. I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. She would never. It's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why, exactly why nobody likes. Stop! Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I, I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poem, they're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in my head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Be because, well, also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they have as they always were. Big and beautiful. <laughs> Sayori. Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, this is why Sayori is vice president, I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that's ju that just means Sayori is amazing in her own way, isn't it? Isn't she? She, You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing your poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Wolfgore, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Oh, Jesus. And maybe you learned something from your friends, too. So your, whoa, whoa, so your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Of course! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Hee <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori? About what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki? Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've ever seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew! You know Wolfgore, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's <laughs> every day is going to be so much fun. Sigh. It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught onto the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Well, just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. 
Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. All right, chaps. That's where we're stopping for today. We have been recording for 46 minutes. I might break this into two separate episodes. So if this is episode three, yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to break it into two separate episodes just to make the watching of it a little bit easier. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and I don't see how this game has gotten disturbing yet. If anything, it's just adorable and making me think more about writing and poetry and stuff like that. But it's I guess it's going to get disturbing at some point, so I guess I'm looking forward to that. I almost don't want it to. It's just so nice. It's so pleasant. But uh, I love your guys' faces. Beard heart. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you chaps next time with more Doki Doki Literature Club. Bye.